It's Michael Cornell, your Seattle Realtor, with the October 2013 Real Estate Update for Seattle and Western Washington. Northwest MLS has released its month-end numbers for September for its 21-county service area. September tested the housing market's resilience with fluctuating interest rates, persistent inventory shortages in some areas, and record-setting rains. It was the rainiest September anyone remembers. By month-end, however, both pending and closed sales were up versus the same month last year. Prices also increased compared to a year ago, but inched back slightly from August. Northwest MLS Director John Dealey said, The Seattle market shows no sign of slowing down. House hunters seem undaunted by the soggy weather. Buyers continue to flood open houses and multiple offers rain down on competitively priced properties, Dealey said. Note that he said on competitively priced properties. Even in a brisk market, there are homes that don't sell, take a long time to sell, or sell for less than asking price. An asking price that's out of line is one reason this might happen. Other factors, such as using a part-time agent, an inexperienced agent, a discount listing service, poor preparation of the property, or just bad marketing, can all affect how quickly a home sells and the cash proceeds a seller gets at closing. Dealey also noted the percentage of all-cash buyers has decreased as compared to those who are obtaining home loans to make their purchases. Now, for the past year or two, about 30% of buyers purchasing homes in our area were buying with all cash. In a normal or balanced market, typically about 10 to 11% of buyers have all cash. We're still way above that range, but probably slowly heading back toward normal. Pending sales were up 4.6% from last year. Closed sales in August were up 21.2% versus the same month in 2012. Prices on closed sales for single-family homes were up 8.2% from last year. Price increases for condominiums continued to outpace those for houses. Condo prices were up 12.3% from a year ago. Overall, prices were down just over 1% from August figures. This is considered too small of a difference to have any real meaning. So what about inventory? That's how many homes are on the market for sale and available for buyers to buy. New listings last month were up 17% versus September 2012, and inventory overall is up 2.1%. So the selection is improving slowly region-wide. But note that in King County, we had 1.95 months of inventory available at the end of September. Analysts say that a normal range is four to six months inventory on the market, so we're still way below that. Northwest MLS Director Lennox Scott said, with interest rates suddenly coming off of their peak for the year, we're having another surge of activity, which is keeping inventory at the shortage level in both King and Snohomish County. The number of homes with pending sales was up 4.6% region-wide versus a year ago. So what does this all mean if you're ready to sell your home? Well, the market continues to be very strong. It's a good time to sell. Prices are near pre-recession levels in many neighborhoods. This tends to be more true in close-in city neighborhoods and near job centers. Market times are still generally quick for well-priced, well-prepared, well-marketed homes listed with experienced and skilled full-time real estate professionals. This might be the time you've been waiting for. What does this mean for you if you're a buyer? Northwest MLS Director George Moorhead said he expects interest rates to climb to 5% by next summer. His biggest message is, if you want to capitalize on the current lower interest rates, don't delay any longer. We've all known for some time that interest rates are going to be headed upward. Inching up of interest rates slowed a bit in September when the federal government made a surprise announcement that it would continue its purchasing of mortgage-backed securities a while longer. So you have a little reprieve. May, uh, rates may stay around 4.5% range for the rest of this year, which is about another 13 weeks. Now what about the government shutdown? If you follow my Facebook business page, you might have seen the article from USA Today that I posted last week that talks about the effect of the shutdown on the housing market. The long and short of it is that a short shutdown is no big deal. One that goes on for more than a couple of weeks could cause some problems or delays in closing and processing of home loans. At the recording of this video, we are just under a week into the shutdown. Northwest MLS director O.B. Jacoby, no relation to the Star Wars character, said nobody has a crystal ball, but in some instances, lenders will face challenging challenges verifying information from ver various federal agencies like the IRS, which impacts their ability to approve and close their home loans. Noting that most government agencies involved in housing finance remain open, Jacoby said, we don't expect this to have a significant impact on this, the housing market. This will largely depend on the length of the shutdown and its effect on consumer confidence. 
For analysis or advice about your particular situation, give me a call. I've been helping people reach their real estate goals since 1988, and I can probably help you. Remember to watch, like, and leave comments on my videos on my YouTube channel, and like my Facebook business page. See you next time.